Danny Segura for MMA Junkie here in South Florida at the Knuckle Mania 2 press conference. I'm standing next to the champ, Luis Baum Palomino, who defends his belt this Saturday. Uh, Luis, let's talk about this fight. Big, big title defense coming up. How are you feeling entering this fight against Martin Brown? Yeah, I feel good, very confident, 100% recovery. It's a shit show. It was really bad. I uh, wanted to quit every other day of that camp. I couldn't even lift weights. If I touched weights, I would relapse and go back to the cold sweat. Couldn't train for two days straight. I had to recover again. So this time I was able to power lift like I normally do. My body's back to normal. I lost 28 pounds. That's great to hear. And for those that don't know, can you explain to them what were the circumstances going into the last fight? Well, three months prior, less than three months. I say three months, this was about two months and like two weeks, really. Um, I had COVID and I went through 19 days infected. The first 15 days, zero food. If I ate it, it came out of my mouth. If I drank it, it came out of the back. And I was, I don't have no ideas. That's what a mistake was because I didn't get sick in five years. I have a meal prep business with my, with my wife. You know, I eat healthy, I do drugs. You know, I, I train. Not even a cold, not a cough in five years. So I kind of got over, uh, overconfident and I went about it. And I ended up doing 15 days with zero food. I lost 28 pounds. I ended up with a medical report of the is almost blue. And I guess without water or food in my system. Um, pre, pre anemic, pre diabetic, uh, uh, severe pneumonia. Information of the pancreas, severe. Hey, are y'all in the field? Brother. Restart, restart. You know, so, yeah. severe pneumonia. I mean, it was, it was hell. It was really bad. And I put my not out of ego. Some people may think that it was out of ego because this idiot was talking about it. Most fighters do today, but they don't want to be McGregor and they're trying to get back, you know? So what I did was I put myself in that challenge to force myself to get myself better. I said, I don't want to lose. And I don't want to lose against this idiot, you know? So I put myself in a situation. It was hard. But this is like Logan Jenner. Seven years old. There's always somebody out there in a work situation cancer and survived and beat it through bone marrow cancer. years old, man. And I'm over here complaining about the cancer that can't finish. He gave me so much strength and motivation. That's awesome. And, and I'm glad you're 100%. Uh, I'm glad that you're feeling good. Um, you know, when people go through that kind of experiences, man, sometimes like it gives you a new perspective on life. Did you leave with any lessons, any new outlooks on life after going through what you did? A thousand, a thousand, a thousand percent. A thousand percent, man. Um, it, it, it helps you value life a little more, family, friends, and it helps you value even the accomplishments that you kind of like, you start to like, not forget, but like you don't, you know. You get used to it. Mean, yeah, you kind of get used to it, right? And, and then it's like, it helps you value, like, man, look what you work for, look what you achieved, you know? And it just brines your, your I don't know, man, it's like a change. It's a change in my head. I even closed old wounds. People that I wasn't talking to in the past that it was out of ego, like my old trainers, and I let them back in my life, and it's like, I just feel like a big weight off my shoulders. I feel lighter, I feel better and got rid of all the negativity that was surrounding me. And I just feel good, man. It's like a, it's like a new being born again. Yeah, it's great to hear. Man, you've been killing it in uh, bare knuckle boxing, but you're obviously an MMA veteran. You fought the who's who. You got a ton of fights. Uh, any chance that we ever see you back in the MMA world, or is that chapter closed in your life? Uh, it, at the moment, it is closed. Um, I believe that I'm going to finish my career with bare knuckle. My, my first dream was to be a, a real boxer. That was the first. So I would love to do a boxing fight or two before before they quit. Uh, but I'm only aiming at money fights. So whether it's in boxing or bare knuckle, my, this is my, in my last fight in the contract. Um, you know, so we're looking for a good deal to keep moving and finish finish up well. You know, but uh, MMA, the only fight that would excite me and make me think about coming back would be a third fight against Justin Gagey or a fight against Jose Aldo, which was my dream fight back in the days.
And a lot of people don't know that, but you fought uh, Justin Gagey twice in the World Series. And I remember interviewing you after, because that fight was, for those that haven't seen it, you're missing out. That fight is one of the craziest fights I've ever seen. You also have a win over Jorge Masvidal. I mean, you, you fought over a, a bunch of people and uh, you have a very accomplished record. Um, looking back now, like when you fought those people when they weren't that famous, now you see Justin Gagey, you know, fighting for title, for UFC titles. You know, you see Jorge Masvidal, BMF champion, huge fights. Uh, how is that like, man? Because uh, it must be pretty crazy, right? It's crazy, man, but it makes me happy to see them out there because, you know, even if I won or if I lost against them, it's like it shows you the level that I was at, you know? And most people have a lot of Peruvian fans, a lot of Latin American fans, and the first question every time I do a live on Facebook, Luis Baboon Palomino is when I direct to my Latino crowd. The number one question is always, why never UFC? Why are not you in UFC? Why are you not going to UFC? You know what I mean? It's stuff like that. And I'll tell you guys like this, you can hear it here. It wasn't a reality to me. I've been illegal in this country for 31 years. It wasn't a reality that I can actually go to, yeah, that I, I just visited Peru for the first time in 31 years. I saw my brother after 25 years, and I saw my dad after 25 years. So it's like, you know, I just got my green card. I had work permits, you know, I ended up fighting in Russia because I had a work permit that came with a, with a permission to come back into the country, but I took a risk. You know, my, my lord, hey, look, sign this. If they say no to you on the way back in, it's not me. Then I took the risk, and because of that, I got legal entry, and then I was allowed to go see my, my dad, my brother, and go to Peru, you know? So it wasn't, a, when your mind is very powerful. If you tell yourself, ah, I can't do it, then most likely you can't do it. But if you tell yourself, oh, I can't do it, then most likely you will do it, you know? So you have to listen to your mind. And I blocked myself because it wasn't a reality because I wasn't legal, you know? So I kind of blocked myself from ever making it there. But I whooped a couple of asses that went over there, so. So, so yeah, and I didn't know. So, so you're documented now. Yeah, I'm yeah. documented. I'm a legal resident and becoming a citizen very soon. So. That's awesome. Congrats. Uh, I became a citizen a few years ago. Very special moment. So you, you'll see. You'll see when it comes down to it. All right. Uh, let's end on this uh, prediction for your title fight. And how are you going to finish out your BKFC contract? Big fight. Big fight. I always said your last fight is the most important fight in your contract because you want to negotiate yourself right to come back. So it has to be my knockout. Um, my last two fights were decisions. The second to last fight with Good John was a decision because I chose it to be. Because I wanted to display another part of me. How I can dominate this skill. Since I was running everybody over, you know, in 30 seconds, 38 seconds. In the second fight, we already know the story. You know, I had to like fight smart. But I have to finish. I'm hungry for a knockout. I'm coming for a knockout. That's what I want. Appreciate the time, champ. Best of luck this Saturday. Thank, Thank you. you.